Okay, boys and girls, Mrs. Gobi here again with some more handwriting. I hope you're ready. Remember, all you need is some lined paper and a pencil, and let's get ready for handwriting. Today, the graphene that we're writing is unk. I think I stink unk. So this is made up of two letters, an N and a K. So an N is our grass letter. It's nice and short. It fills up about half the line. N, and then our K is a tall letter, a sky letter. We sweep up, almost touch the top line, come back down over the top, touch the line again, up about halfway, curl around, touch the stick, down and a flick. And you can see that the top of that curly bit on the K is the same size as the N. So let's try that again. Sweep up and then Sweep up, back down, up and over the top, over, down, touch the line, sweep up, trace back over the top, touch the line, up, curl around, touch the stick, down, touch the line and a flick out. Let's do two lines of that. Okay, well done boys and girls. Can you pick your favourite? Hmm, which one do you think's my best one? I quite like, I quite like this one actually. I think that one's my favourite. Okay, let's write some words with the unk sound in. Okay, I'm going to write the word sink. S, I, unk, sink. So let's write a whole line of sink together. Well done. I hope you didn't take your pencil off the page until you got to the end of the word and dotted your I at the end. Remember, all of these letters are our grass letters, nice and short, and our K is our tall letter. Okay, let's write the word pink. This is our ground letter, our stinky feet letter. Remember not to go down too far in case you block the next line. Pink and dot the and look how that curly bit on the back is the same size as those other grass letters. Let's do a whole line of the word pink. Okay, shall we write the word blink? So we sweep up for the B, so that's a tall letter. Down, touch the line, around, sweep up, down and under, I, N. Blink. Let's see if you can write a whole line of the word blink. So let's put these words into a sentence. I'm going to say the sink is pink. So again, I start with a capital T. I don't join my H because it's a capital letter. The sink. is pink. I have never seen a pink sink before. I wonder if any of you have a pink sink in your bathroom. End it with a full stop. Okay, let's see if you can write that sentence three times. Okay, boys and girls, remember, you don't have to write the sink is pink. You might have come up with your own ink words and made up your own ink sentence. Okay. Good job for today, boys and girls, and I look forward to seeing you next week for some more handwriting. Bye! Now, boys and girls, I've just noticed that over here I've made a mistake. I've noticed that I've put a ooh into the word pink, so it says plink. Oh, plink's not a real word. Remember, if we make a mistake, we don't do one big scribble out, make it really messy. We just put one line it. So it's just one line, ooh the mistake, and cross it out. It's okay to make mistakes boys and girls, we all make them 